Hello everyone, what's up today? We are doing a bit of a special video. Today we are checking out every Niji Sanji EN group song uh, in that, that they've come out with. This is going to be super exciting. I believe I've collected all of them. Uh, we've got seven songs that we're going to be listening to. We've got Diamond City Lights. Let me scroll down so you can see it. We've got Diamond City Lights, Black Out, God Sees All, Hope in the Dark, Stuck in the Abyss, Let's Get It Started, and finally Hold It Down. So <laughs> my voice is cracking. So uh, you guys have recommended all of these songs to me, as well as many others that I'm super excited to check out. Uh, thank you so much for all of your recommendations. This has been super cool to get invested in this world of VTuber music and just VTubers in general. There's so much incredible art here, musical or visual. Just It's all so much talent that I've been missing out on. And so I'm super excited to see and discover all of these things. Um, I'm I'm rambling on, but let's just get started. Our first song here is Diamond City Lights by Lazulite. The, to my understanding, the first wave in Niji Sanji English. So let's just jump right into it in three, two, one, play. Got this nice piano backing those vocals. Good projection. That's a beautiful drum. It's very solid and it's keeping its pace very well. <laughs> That's a very cute voice. The song hits hard. Wow. Ooh, that, that's a nice drop. I'm sorry to pause it. That was beautiful. I they've got this like I I hesitate to say rock beat, but it's this nice steady beat that's keeping tempo and it's it's hyping up their vocals super well. This is now I, I'm a bit of a metalhead myself. I love metal music, so when I hear those drum beats and stuff, the tone that that drum has is perfect for this song because it, it's. It's just a deep enough and loud enough that it drives the vocals. It, it drives the song forward without being overbearing, without being too subtle. It's right there, right where it needs to be. And that's hard to do as, as someone who's tried to mix their own music and tried to like uh, fit their own drum beats to guitar. It's It's very very important to get that drum just right so you're not interfering with where the song is going and it it, it might sound simple because there wasn't like too much of a complex drum beat or anything but it's important to get just not to over complicate things and not to oversimplify things and th that was beautiful composition incredible vocals the three of them i, I believe this is yeah this is a three group um wave or, sorry, not three group, three person wave, and their voices mix incredibly well. I'm extremely impressed with how well their voices mix. We've got Alira, I believe, Alira, who's got this nice, deeper, richer tone, and then Pomu and Finana are both higher on uh, in pitch, but 
Pomu's got this uh, sort of playful tone, whereas Fionana is hitting that treble and putting that treble in the mix right where it needs to be. And Pomu's adding this flavor and personality that, and all three of them mix super well. I, I am rambling on. <laughs> I'm rambling so much, but we're only uh, like a minute and a half into this song, so let's keep going. She's singing a bit deeper now. I'll paint the rainbow lasting for days and days. Just like the magic She's also singing deeper. She's got a beautiful voice. Maybe now you need to believe. As her hands are time progress. I have to admit, her voice is my favorite. Alira's. She sounds so good. Oh, that sounds... It's such a good draw. Oh, this is amazing. Yeah. This is such a feel-good song. I... I love this. Let's go to the place. Ooh, you got it. Let's go to the place where it's night. Listen to those harmonies there, that was nice. <laughs> yes. Oh, that's a good job. Their harmonization, especially like right here. Ooh. Hold it. Yes. That was. They ended that note perfectly. Wait, wait, wait. Before that ends, let's go back to that. Let's go back to that. Wait, wait, wait. Yes, yes. They ended that note beautifully. You could hear the harmonization. Uh, this song was mixed incredibly well. My god, that was beautiful. It, it was their harmonization on that last note. It was perfect. It didn't it didn't go too long. It didn't waver. It was that was incredible. What a what an amazing first song. To come out of Niji Sanji En, I, I'm assuming this is the first. It, it should be, to my understanding. What an incredible way to start off Niji Sanji En. What an awesome song! I could listen to that drop over and over again. Uh, Diamond City Lights. That that drop where they just, uh the entire the entire instrumental just uh, pauses and the bursts open with the diamond city lights and they're all harmonizing together beautiful that was incredible oh my god i could ramble about that song forever but we're only one <laughs> we're only one seventh of the way through i might have to split this video into two parts i i don't know um <laughs> but let's go on to black out by obsidia and so, to my understanding, uh, the comment that suggested all of these, or at least one of them, um, said that basically all of these waves have a theme that they're based on. So, I believe Lazulite is, as in the name of both the song and the wave, 
they're the light group and then now we've got the dark group which is obsidia black out all right this is the song blackout by obsidia we're gonna check this out in three two one go Ooh. what instrument is that Ow. Whoa. I am liking what they're doing with this composition. Whoa. Listen to that guitar in the back. Super breathy. I like it. Nice. Ooh. Super catchy. Listen to that. Face synth. Wow, we've got this massive attack on the synth with this super catchy lyrics. Just a wrath breakdown? Okay. Wow. This is a nice lower tone compared to from earlier. Wow. Build it up? Wow, that was a big build up. It is? Alright. We've got this super strong wobble bass backing it up. Nice. Nice. And again? Yeah. Oh, once more. All together. Nice. Wow. Okay. That was a that was a very different from the first song. We've got this super I, I I'm not sure how to describe it. Would you say EDM, house, techno? I, I don't know what particular genre really uses that strong wobble bass and high attack synths, but that was that that is how you use a, a wobble bass and synth to add to music because so many so many people they com they com compose their own songs and they try to use wobble bass and synth but they they aren't picking those they just have those at their disposal and they're trying to fit it into their music but this is how you deliberately choose how to make a song catchy that was beautiful let's go back just it, it very deliberately starts and stops right it's like black out from the dun 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 it's this contrast between starting and stopping from staccato to legato very very impressive choice that this is a super catchy song and I, just that intro part, especially that intro part where they're going into this, not dissonance, but uh, maybe like, is that a sharp seventh or that harmonic uneasy note? Let's go back. Uh, I'll show you what I'm talking about. Just at the very beginning. 
And we got this nice dun dun right there. I don't know what instrument. Is that a trumpet? I don't think it's a trumpet. Right here. Mm. That note right there. I don't know if that's like a, a sharp seventh. I, I I don't know if I'm if I'm overthinking it, but that breathy, high, uneasy note right there, perfect. That's that's how you hook an audience. That's how you hook a listener. Beautiful performance from Obsidia on Blackout. Before I ramble on too much about it, let's go on to Etheria. God sees all I know, Etheria. We just listened to Etheria by Enna, but this is God sees all by Etheria. So Etheria is the group that Enna is in. We've listened to uh, a couple of songs from Enna on this channel now. So let's see what song she debuted with. Um, well, I suppose her group debuted with. All right, we've got Etheria, God sees all. Hit play in three, two, one. Go. Ooh. Okay, not the instrumental I was expecting at all. Ooh. Okay. Nice vocals. Oh. Nice. Ve a very good way to look an audience with that catchy. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Nice. Nice. Really nice vocals. Ooh, I like this instrumental. That instrumental breakdown there is nice. Ooh, we're picking up. Okay. Nice. Hey, we've got Anna. I like that tune. That instrumental is layering it with. Nice projection. Nice projection. Ooh, nice high note. Nice! Nice break down there. I really like that tune that we've got in the background there on the instrumental. Oh, alright. That was the end. Okay. I really like it. That was a very catchy pattern, whereas we've got that tune that keeps going on the background with the instrumental, and then it's like, what you see is only a moment. That's a really nice staccato pattern to 
keep going back to you, you it's whenever you're composing a song and you, you really want to just make something catchy you, or maybe you're playing a riff on a guitar or something and you want to make it catchy getting that short uh staccato notes those st short staccato notes to just keep going back to that's a really easy way to hook an audience and make them expect something but it's it's pleasant to hear it sounds good and that's what you want in a song but they add their own originality in these very very impressive vocal projections these uh, segments between those staccato phrases where they they just show off their voice they're, they're singing out i i do want to say the lyrics i i noticed with obsidia and blackout as well i don't know if whoever's writing the lyrics speaks english natively because sometimes you you do notice like a bit of a bit of an odd lyricism here and there like uh the we're at the it's some some stuff like we're etheria it's like it's a little uh <laughs> I, I i don't want to be a negative but it, it is a bit odd just to uh, see it, how it's like fit into the lines but it i mean it sounds good so <laughs> like the song still sounds good so i'm not complaining but uh that was really nice i really really like how they handled the instrumental for the song and um has always and his voice is stellar but the other three members this is actually i think the first four member group or just the first group that's bigger than three people uh in niji en so seeing all of them have this very nice voice i i did notice uh there were a couple discrepancies with like how um some members didn't seem to have like any uh obvious pitch correction and then some parts did have like a little bit of autotune or uh, pitch correction standing out which is always okay i mean y you expect that to some degree but um it, it does stand out a little bit which you don't want uh you don't want your audience to hear that before they hear what they're singing you know uh but as always i'm still very impressed with this song this was still a, an extremely well done performance from all the all of them and uh i'm very excited to see what we've got next luxium hope in the dark all right we've got luxium hope in the dark we're gonna hit play in three two one let's go Got this jazzy tune. Oh, very, very nice. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Ooh, look, did you hear that? Wait, 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 I'm sorry to pause. I want to hear that again. That I, I can't even mimic it. It was in the background. The do -do 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 <laughs> That was such a bad imitation. Wait, let's go back. I want to hear that again. Right there. Right there. That was so good. <laughs> that was good. Was not expecting this breakdown. Okay. Mafia. Sorcerer. What is the theme for this group? <laughs> Detective. Novel. I do not know. I, I do not understand what the theme is for this group. They look good though. Dang, alright. Hit it on those keys. Wow. Ooh. Showtime, 
You got some nice vocal layering. Ooh, that was nice projection there. Alright, we've got back to that like techno breakdown. Those are going too fast, I cannot read them. Uh, oh. That is a nice vocal tone. That's got to be like a voice actor or something, because that vocal tone was excellent. All right. That was good. That was good. I they've got it was like a we've got these different segments. We got this like jazzy uh maybe not club but, but uh it's like a jazzy sing-songy uh like segment, like brass segment. And then right after that we've got this like techno club breakdown and then we go back to like the jazzy part and then it was it was really nice. I liked that. That was good. We've got I if I'm hearing it right, I think the blonde guy with the hat it, when it, it sounded like his voice who did the the like tongue roll and the yell, that was super good. I wish he did that more in this song. And that was that was my favorite part. That was so good. Uh but it also sounded like he had the best projection as well. Um cuz on on his parts, um also this the sorcerer guy. Uh on his uh, parts as well, he, he started with this really good projection and then it kind of faded off. Like it, it felt like he ran out of breath almost a little bit, but I, I think it was just the mix um, where his line kind of faded at the end. But the hat guy, his, um, well, there's two hat guys, the hat guy with the coat. Well, they both have coats. The blonde hat guy, <laughs> the blonde hat guy, his projection sounded excellent and the uh, Mr. White suit, with the long hair, uh, covering one of his eyes. His vocal tone, my God, I think it was the demon guy. Uh, his vocal tone was excellent, and I mean they all sounded great. Um, the guy on the left here, he also he had like a bit of a higher pitch, and it was very nice contrast. Um, Especially in that part where they're just kind of like, kind of talking to the beat, um, where they said like white darkness, hope in the dark. That that part, it was a good contrast. The, this is a five person group, which I think is so far the biggest, so far the biggest one, um, and I think they utilized all of their members really well in this song. I'm very impressed with this song. Let's keep going. We've got next up Noctix stuck in the abyss. All right, we got Noctix stuck in the abyss in three, two, one, play. Ooh, nice guitar here. Ooh. Did you hear that pitch harmonic? Yeah. Ooh. This might be my favorite. Okay. Nice. Alright. Wow, nice. Nice projection here, too. Nice projection. Nice. Ooh, nice. 
Ooh. This is my favorite. This is my favorite so far. I like that sword effect. Nice. Oh. Ooh. You hear that? You hear that instrumental? Okay. Beautiful drums here. Can you hear those drums? Ooh, nice. Got these rap breakdowns and there's Nice! They're pulling off these raps well. Nice. His vocal effect is mixed perfectly with this instrumental. It's so good. Nice. We've got this. Ooh, beautiful harmony. Beautiful harmony. Ooh, their voices go so well together. Nice. I like that pause, vocal line, boom, drop. Perfect. Nice. Ooh. Yes. Oh, that? Oh, did you hear that? Ooh. I want nice motion. Best one, best one so far. My favorite by far. Okay, from from the beginning, guitar and heavy instrumental to the way, dude. These vocals are so good. Oh my god, all of them. Like it, obviously there were vocal effects on all of them, but it was mixed so well. The guy with the robot arm, him. He had a really strong vocal effect on his uh, voice. It was like a, it was like a radio effect, distortion effect. But to get that effect and mix it so well, and and it, and it's, things he had that effect on it, but you could still tell, you could still tell the inflection in his voice and the projection he was presenting. It was beautiful. That was my favorite. That was my favorite song out of all of them so far. And, and, and that's saying a lot. So all the other songs have been excellent. But the thing is, uh, also, what really helps is the lyrics in these song. Uh, the, the lyrics in this song are very well done. They flow well with the instrumental. They the the vocalist never feels like they're fighting the lyrics in this song, and that's hard to do. That's really hard to do. And um and all the previous songs. Except I think the Lazulite. I think in terms of just lyric, like lyric writing, lyricism, this song is at the top so far. The Lazulite song is right under it. They've both got excellent l lyrical flow. Um, and the other songs have all been great. But um, it, it's at times it does feel like the, the talent has to uh, fight a little bit to get the lyrics to sound the way they want it to. This song and the Lazy Light song have been super smooth in just the lyrics helping the vocals and helping the artist show off what they can do. And that is perfect. That's what you want to see. A beautiful performance from Stuck in the Abyss. Uh, or, or sorry, from uh, Noctix uh, by uh, Stuck in the Abyss. Man, that was, that was beautiful. Perfect. My favorite so far. Man. All right, let's see. We've got two more songs. Let's see if these two can show us something new and original. Um, I'm sure they can. All of the previous songs have been super awesome, super 
I can't believe there's this much talent just like there for me to discover. That's insane. It's like, man, I can't believe I've been missing out on this much musical prowess. So, <laughs> so I'm rambling on. Let's go to Luna. Let's get it started. All right. Next up, we've got Luna. Let's get it started. So, let's get it started in three, two, one, play. Okay. Are you ready? Ooh. Okay. It's like a race the roof song. <laughs> That's a nice voice. It's like a nasally but cute voice. Step one, two to the beat, mic check one, two to the three. Oh, I like his voice. Nice. I hope he raps. That's a, it's a perfect, deep, clear tone. Ooh. Very soft voice. Nice. Ooh, that's a, ooh, wow, ooh, guys, nice. projection. Nice projection. He's hidden those notes and he's projecting it well. Got a bit, a bit of pitch correction, but still good. Okay. A little bit jumbly, but still good. I like her voice. I like her voice too. Very clear. It's a very clear tone. I like, she's got this sassy to her voice. It's beautiful. Nice. I like these instrumental swells. Ooh. Okay. Ooh, nice. Nice. This instrumental is. Perfect for this song. Nice. Okay. Okay. I liked that. That was a very. It was a very feel-good song. All of them got their own moments to shine. And can I just say? Was it? Let me find it real quick. Okay, so this guy, he has he had a super nice voice, but I feel like they added effects more and more as the song went on, and I feel like they didn't need to do that because it sounds like he has a really nice, perfect voice for that line, but it feels like it's they're like putting a little too much effect on it. Um, because there's not like a really large vocal, or sorry, not really a large instrumental swell or anything. So it's hard to mix that in when it's just showing off his voice. And when you're showing off a talent's voice, you want to make sure that voice isn't obstructed or overly corrected because it shows, you know. But it still, it sounds like he has a really good voice for that line. And I want, I want to hear that more clearly. I really hope he like raps or 
maybe sing some of those deeper tones because in like if he has any songs um on his channel because his voice sounds perfect for that and then uh, this guy's voice or i believe it's guy sorry uh i believe this guy's voice um he's got a very nice soft voice listen to this Love, don't make any I, I think it's a guy. I'm not too sure. I don't want to assume, but the voice is super soft and it's sang very well. I, I really like it, but the 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 only the only complaint I have is it sounds like he's not confident. It, like he's saying, "Let's hop up on the stage and let's show them what we came for," and he he sounds too timid when he's saying a line like that. You know. Show them I do like that though. It, they they said harmonize to this melody, and then they use that to introduce the next person. I really like her voice here. I I really like it. She she's very laid back, but I feel like that that was the purpose of her line to kind of like uh kind of like settle down and then have a build up. So I think she's saying that well. And then uh. I know this talent, Maria. Maria, she was in Cage of Desire. Uh, her voice is excellent. What, like, listen to this. Listen to how clear that is. That's such a clear vocal tone right there. And then this guy. Uh, oh, sorry, this group. Very nice vocal tone. Very nice. And then, um, let me see if I can find where the tall guy sings. Right here, right here. What a... He's got a pop star voice. That guy, that guy's got a pop star voice. He, that guy was meant to sing. Look at, listen to that. That was that was very. This song was a perfect um, way to just show off your talents, show off what each person can do, show off what each person's vocal quality is like, and with that purpose behind just a feel good, happy, raised the roof song. Good. It was very good. It was a very good composition. I'm very impressed with this one. So, last song for today is going to be XLA let's hold it or sorry it's just hold it down not I was gonna say let's hold it down like uh let's get it started so we've got we've got uh Lazulite and Obsidia I can tell those are like light and dark seems like we've got something similar here <laughs> though ironically Luna which is obviously lunar moon has a very bright thumbnail and XLA which is Soleil solar sun um i mean soleil is just like french for sun right i think <laughs> so xla uh has a very dark thumbnail <laughs> so it's a bit of a contrast here uh, i'm excited to check it out so let's check out xla's hold it down all right we've got hold it down from xla in three two one let's go Okay. <laughs> I like that. Oh. Oh. Nice. Okay. 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 I like her accent. It's very cute. I They harmonize well. They harmonize well. Oh. That was a good build up. 
Nice, nice. <laughs> oh, he's saying that very <laughs> He's got this growl to it. Oh. Got this. Hey, okay. Corpse has been here. Okay. That was weird. That was well done. Oh. Whoa. She's got a superstar voice. Ooh, I like that a lot. Oh, they should have put him on that line for, for all of it. That was perfect. Nice. Good. Nice. Oh, we've got this new beat behind it. <laughs> I like that line. We got this whole new beat behind it. Okay. Nice. Nice. That was a good high note. That was a good build up. <laughs> I like that. I like that. That was a very experimental song. I would not have expected that at all. I I don't know how to even classify that song. It, there was these like rap parts, and then we've got this the um the girl with like the braids, uh, like the black hair and purple braids. She got the superstar voice. We heard it a little bit where she was um harmonizing. I'm not sure if I can find it, but. Uh, she was like harmonizing very well and taking the stage and then we've got Corpse Husband here with his super deep voice and man does that sound good oh right here right here so this is superstar voice right here look at this and and he harmonized with her very well because he, he held this bass tone while she sh showed off her vocals and then we've got a follow up here. Listen. Yeah, nice. Sounds so good. And I, I think I think she was instead of like singing it together with him, I think she was doing the uh 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 or like over it if you listen to it real quick. Right here. Right there, yeah. That was cool. It was they the first group harmonized, and then this group, uh, like layered it. And then <laughs> this guy right here, the way he's saying "contrary," is. Oh, I want to see. I think he sings it again here. Does he sing it? Oh, he doesn't sing it here. The way he's saying "contrary," it was something else. Right here. Right here. Right here. <laughs> I love that guy. I, I that I I love that guy. He sings that so so like extra. <laughs> it's so extra. I love it. But yeah, this was a, this was a very nice song. They were definitely experimenting more with what they could do, and uh, that's good. That's what you want to see. Um. So yeah. Uh. So far, "Stuck in the Abyss" is still my favorite oh my god i love that song i'm going to that's going to be on my playlist i'm listening to that multiple times and i really liked blackout and diamond city lights as well hope in the dark was super fun etheria god sees all awesome awesome vocal talent just showing off and then aluna was super fun it was super feel good and XLA Hold It Down was a very fun song. It was very experimental and a good way to end things off here.
So that is it for our Niji EN wave songs. Thank you all so much for watching. This was super fun. Thank you all for recommending these to me. I would not have discovered all of this vocal talent and it's just musical talent. All of this is incredible. So thank you for sharing it with me. And please leave below in the comments if there's anything else you'd like me to check out, regardless of it's Niji Sanji, VTubers, just anything you'd like me to check out. And I will see you next time. Thank you for watching and goodbye.